rumor has it that Terrence Crawford wants more money to fight Errol Spence in the rematch at 154. Now, this is according to uh, a certain channel. Um, he's saying, I'm not going to say their names, but y'all already, probably already know. And that channel, they were saying that they heard that this was a thing, that Terrence Crawford is deciding to um, ask for more money when it comes to the rematch at 154. Now, we already know Terrence Crawford already said that he will honor the rematch. Now, we don't know in the contract, just like they said, um, if it goes where whoever wins get to choose the weight. Okay? And the loser gets to activate the rematch clause, but the winner gets to choose the weight and stuff like that. And pretty much, the winner of the fight becomes the A-side. And that would be Terrence Crawford. He won the fight. Now, as far as the money goes, if if Crawford is actually asking for more, I haven't heard anything. We haven't seen any tweets and stuff like that. We don't know. Now, according to them, the way they were trying to put it, Crawford could try to wiggle out of the fight by automatically honoring it, meaning, yeah, okay, let's fight. But since I get to pick the weight class, let's do it at 154 for more money. If you're not going to fight me for more money at 154, then let's fight at 147. Thus, I guess what they would say, putting Errol Spence at a further advantage to lose the fight, a uh, disadvantage to, to uh, lose that fight. Like he lost the first fight at 147. So in other words, they're trying to say this is a way that Terrence Crawford can have the upper hand on Errol Spence in the ring by trying to get more money at 154. And he doesn't, and, and knowing or believing that that side isn't going to call for more money. So the next option would be, yeah, I'm going to fight you. I honor it, but it's going to now be at 147 because I'm the A side. Now, these people think that that was a weasel. That's like a weasel way to, to, to move and stuff like that. I'm going to give y'all my take. This is not going to be long at all. Well, here's my thing. So what? If it is true, right? If, if Terrence Crawford is asking for more money to fight at 154, so what? Get all the money that you can get, my brother. I ain't even mad at you. Because guess what, y'all? If the shoe was on the other foot, they would have did the same thing to Terrence Crawford. All these years, they were lowballing this dude, doing all kind of stuff, right? So now it's a problem because now the now Crawford is the man. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, huh? <laughs> Incredible. But as they stated, to be fair, it's all speculation. We don't know. If Terrence Crawford does come out and say that he is asking for more money at uh, 154, I have zero problems with that at all. None. Zero. Zilch. Get all that money. Get them bags, baby. Get them bags. Milk it for every fucking penny. That's why I, That's my take on it. But anyway, I want to get y'all take. Let me know what you think. If this comes out to be true that Terrence Crawford decides... To ask for more money at 154 to fight Errol Spence. Do y'all do y'all take that as him trying to what they would say duck Errol Spence into a 147 fight where he has the advantage again? Or is that's just Terrence Crawford recognizing his worth and he's just doing what everybody else was doing to him all these years. <laughs> anyway, let me know, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm out.